Good morning guys and welcome to the video. This morning we are in Salat in East Bali which is one of my favourite places on the island, if not my very favourite. Now there's a few reasons I've come here. First reason, I'm going back to the UK next week. It's going to be very wet, very cold and so I thought I'd try to make the most of my time on the island and what better place to come than this. Secondly, I love getting out for sunrise and as I said probably a minute ago, I couldn't imagine a better place to actually come and shoot it. As you can see behind me, I'm not sure which side to stand, as you can see behind me we've got this street running down towards Mount Agung in the background, beautiful sunrise light, super soft, we've got the jungle in the background, bamboo poles over the street framing the mountain, I mean you really couldn't ask for a more quintessential Barnley scene in my opinion. I think with that said, the sun's coming up pretty quickly. We don't actually have that much time to get these photos. The soft light is only gonna last for about 45 minutes or so. So let's jump into it and let's go get some photos. All right, so I've moved forward just a little bit here. We've got this kind of ugly car on the side of the street. And if I stand too far back that way, it's gonna be filling up my frame and maybe getting in the way of the subjects that I'm trying to photograph as well. Um, so I'm taking this position here, I've got a pendulum on either side of the street and where I've come down the street just a little bit they're framing the mountain without actually touching it which I think is absolutely perfect if you see here we've got a lady coming up the street let's see okay not too bad but we did have a bunch of kids running out of that doorway there and I feel like they made a bit of a distraction on the edge of the frame so okay another lady coming up the street and when the people are coming up the street, what I'm hoping for is that they'll be completely isolated by this street. I'm not sure if that makes complete sense, but I want this street to entirely surround them. Okay, one minute. Oh, school kids, that looks cool. little thing here um, by any means not not the most interesting photo but I just noticed this little patch of light that started to hit the wall I think it's coming from between the houses and um, yeah I just thought I'd try and capture somebody's somebody's shadow hopefully we have an interesting kind of subject pass through maybe someone with a very bizarrely shaped head would make for an interesting shot This spot's done, can't even see the volcano anymore, so don't really feel the need to stay here and shoot this. We are gonna head a little bit down this way. It's actually only about 60 seconds this way uh, to another beautiful street, completely different scene, same kind of, well, traditional architecture, maybe some of these bamboo poles over the streets and things like that, local people walking through the frame, but no volcano, a little bit different, but equally as beautiful in my opinion. We gotta go now. The sun's coming up, we have many places to get to, let's go. All right guys, next spot. As I was saying, very traditional Balani street, uh, traditional architecture, we've got the gateways into the houses, <coughs> temple on the right hand side, and this beautiful kind of jungle scene in the background as well. And again, similar to the last location, we're just waiting for a subject to kind of pass through the frame. Uh, as you can see, we've got a lady coming down the street now, so I think I might try to capture her while the sun's out. We've got a few clouds coming over um, so I've got to make the most of the light that I have. So I think for this, again, I'm using f6.3. I'm shooting this a little underexposed, about a stop, about a stop or so under. Okay, she's gone in the house, maybe this bike will be better. Perfect. 
Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's so sick. I don't usually like having the subjects <clears throat> too close uh, to the camera. I'd rather have a smaller subject and then, you know, have more of the frame be filled by the details of the landscape or the scene that I'm actually in. Uh, but that worked perfectly. Yeah, I shot it at f6.3, one and two thirds. One and two thirds stops under. Does that, is that how people say it? Sounds ridiculous. I say 250, yeah. So pretty underexposed apparently, but um, yeah, I think the way I'm gonna crop this, I'm gonna have the sun out of it. Anyway, that looks sick. Yeah, I got the farmer on the bike wearing the hat. Perfect subject. And one thing I really like, although you can't see it, maybe we'll go around there in a minute, is we have these logs kind of on the edge of the street, which are being caught by the sun as well. So the color of them, that orange in those logs really pops against the gray of the street and the green of the of the grass kind of surrounding it. It's a pretty cool perspective actually. Do you think they'll mind if I'm stood on there? They probably will mind, won't they? That guy was cross when we parked outside his house the other day. We did try to film this video the other day, but um, it was my first time trying to film something for YouTube and it went horribly wrong. Anyway, another subject coming through the frame. Light's just kind of gone behind the clouds, but let's see how this looks. Yeah, pretty sick. Got more GoPro, why wouldn't I step in a piece of warm dog shit? God's sake, man. It's everywhere. <sighs> so over it. <laughs> why? What I think is going to be the last spot, I'm having to jump between talking and getting the photos because the subjects are so rare on this street apparently. Um, but we just came into the jungle, actually. Hey. Hello, thank you. Yeah, Paggy. I'm Paggy. Yeah. Yeah. Siapa nama anda? Ayah. Ah, kemana? Ma kemana? Mau pulang. Pulang ya? Ya. Bisa nanti saya. Sedikit. Ah, sedikit. Ya, sedikit. Ya, belajar. Pinter ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, saya uh, Jordan. Jordan. Jordan, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hati-hati. Yeah. Pinter ya bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those awkward goodbyes where you say bye and you like you walk the same way to the car. Yeah. Got it. Hey. Oh no. Ah, okay. Hey, oh, yeah. Well, that was awkward. Yeah, so coming to the jungle anyway, uh, only about five minutes from where we were at the last spot, and we thought we'd try to capture some light rays. Although I'm starting to wonder if they have any light rays at this time of year. Uh, we've been up here three, four mornings in the past week or so, and I haven't seen that many light rays at all. Having said that, I don't suppose it needs to be all about the light and all about having these, you know, overly atmospheric light rays when you've got subjects like this priest coming behind me, who I saw when I turned around a minute ago and I tried not to freak out while I was trying to talk to you, but I think that's going to be our subject for this shot. We've got this kind of winding uh, street going around the corner through the jungle with a lot of foliage which I think looks beautiful shame about the light uh, but we do have a really cool subject coming through and I'm going to try and shoot him right now with my camera yep selamat pagi selamat pagi apa kabar oh 
Mau ke Pura. Ke Pura ya? ya. Oh, oke. Okay. Ya, ya, ya. ya, ya. Di sana ya? Ini. Ah. Pura ah, ah. Nah, oke. Okay. Di sini sudah selesai. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh, that's so nice. You know what? I was kind of bummed that we didn't have any like really strong light rays for this. I mean, obviously with a light rays that would have looked absolutely insane, but to be quite honest, with that soft light coming through the trees, it really kind of softly illuminates the kind of edges of his clothing. And I don't know, something about that just looks a little moodier. I feel like, you know, whenever we come to this spot, we, I say me and Harry, because it's about the only person I come and shoot with these days, we're really hoping for these, like I said earlier, really atmospheric, hardcore light rays, but actually makes a nice change. Um, to to not have them not only that i think it makes the photo that i'm gonna share at least the location in which i've taken it a little less obvious because i'm not the only person that comes here for light rays and so yeah when people see this they might be a little thrown off course which is which is always nice when we're out taking photos i don't want to you know make it too obvious for people okay so we have waited for a little while now and unfortunately, the sky has completely clouded over. Uh, so waiting didn't pay off this time. And maybe we would have been better going elsewhere. But um, yeah, I think a pretty successful morning. Got a few really nice photos in the other two locations and the couple here that I was pretty soaked with. And uh, I think for one of the next videos, sometime over the, you know, the coming months, Harry and I are going to return to this location and show you what photographing here with true light rays really looks like.